The word paleo refers to the term paleolithic, which was coined by the archaeologist John Lubbock in 1865. It comes from the Greek word paleos, meaning old, and lithos, meaning stone. So it literally translates to old age of the stone or old stone age. Today, when people use the word paleo, they're really referring to a grain-free diet. The Stone Age, or Paleolithic era, occurred from 10,000 to 2.5 million years ago. It was a time that our ancestors had to hunt and gather for their survival. The agricultural era that we live in today makes up only the last 10,000 of those 2.5 million years. 99.99% .99 of your genetic blueprint was formed during the Paleolithic era. In other words, your genetic makeup, which was shaped over the last two million years, is virtually identical to your Paleolithic ancestors. That means that certain foods and nutrients, the same ones your ancient biological ancestors consumed, are literally part of your biology today. When you feed the body the foods that it's genetically adapted to, health, vitality, and the ability to maintain a lean body comes naturally. Dr. Boyd Eaton of Emory University wrote a landmark paper called Paleolithic Nutrition, which was published in the prestigious New England Journal of Medicine. The basic premise of the report was that our genetic code determines our nutritional needs. For 2.5 million years, we ate what we could hunt and gather. Today, we eat what looks good, tastes good, and what is sold to us through multi-million dollar ad campaigns. The average American eats 150 pounds of sugars and sweeteners per year and hundreds of pounds of grains. Dr. James Braley and Ron Hogan wrote a book called Dangerous Grains. They showed how grains are linked to more than 200 chronic illnesses and conditions, including type 2 diabetes, cancer, heart disease, arthritis, autoimmune diseases, brain disorders, intestinal diseases, chronic pain, infertility, and problematic pregnancies just to name a few. Our Paleolithic ancestors were strong, lean, and had great athletic bodies. They survived on animal proteins like meat, fish, and fowl. They had fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, and good healthy fats. Bread, bagels, pasta, muffins, croissants, and cereals didn't even exist. Well, here's the problem. The grains that we eat every day, like wheat, rye, and barley, produce compounds like lectins, phytates, and gluten. And these compounds can damage the digestive tract and even cause autoimmune disease. Grains and legumes contain a substance called lectins that can ward off attacks from bacteria, insects, worms, rodents, and unfortunately, even humans. Over millennia, certain insects, birds, and rodents have genetically adapted to digesting these grains and legumes. Their bodies can neutralize these toxic antinutrients but because these foods are so new to humans, we've not developed the same adaptations. Gluten is another problem. Gluten is a protein found in wheat, rye, and barley that can actually damage the small intestines. In fact, one out of 133 people in the United States have celiac disease, a serious digestive disorder triggered by eating gluten. When a person with celiac eats gluten, it reacts with the tissue of the small intestines, causing an inflammatory reaction. This damages the small intestines, leading to malabsorption and even malnutrition. Dr. Braley and Mr. Hogan estimate that 90 million Americans may have non-celiac gluten sensitivity. That means close to one out of three people may have problems with gluten without ever having celiac disease. This is a staggering number when you consider that Braley and Hogan have referenced a list of 187 medical conditions that are linked to gluten. The paleo way of eating is the only diet that matches the way that we should eat according to our genetic blueprint. That's precisely why this diet works. And I'm not just talking about weight loss. I'm talking about people able to reclaim their health. Eat the way that we're meant to eat for just a few weeks and see how great you'll feel.